Hey guys, it's Candace Agrandis, and I often get asked, how do you maintain your hair while working out or swimming? And today, I've provided all of your answers in this video. From sleek edges to favorite products, protective styles, and routines, I've got you guys covered. Here are my best practices while working out. You don't want to sacrifice your health and avoid working out just because of your hair. Sweat is super salty and can cause dryness and brittleness. So for this, I would recommend a large elastic scrunchie and a few bobby pins. Here are my favorite protective styles. A low loose ponytail, a low bun, or a half up half down loose bun combination. If you sweat a lot in your scalp, I recommend a dry sweat headband. The headband helps to lay your edges. For vacation, pool or beach, I normally recommend large knotless jumbo braids. Consider this. If you're laying out and you protect your skin from harmful UV rays, then you absolutely want to do the same thing for your hair as well. My favorite protector is It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Product. This not only protects your hair from heat damage, but it also acts as a barrier, protecting your hair from the chlorinated water. The first thing you want to do is always remember to wet your hair. It's much better for your hair to absorb less chlorinated water first. Squeeze out the excess water, and then you want to go in with a moisturizing conditioner. Another favorite of mine is It's a 10 Miracle Daily Conditioner. I sometimes use this in combination with the Matrix Biolage Hydrosource Aloe Mask. You'll immediately notice a difference as soon as you get into the water. Your hair will be super slick and smooth, and you're not going to have a lot of tangles and knots. Some may even suggest using coconut oil. You know, oil and water typically don't mix. So this is also a great protector against the chlorinated water damaging your hair. I would only recommend this if you plan on doing some indoor swimming or if you plan on washing your hair afterwards, as it does tend to make your hair very greasy. Now after a good relaxing swim, I tend to wash off, including my hair, and dry out the excess water right before I go into my treatment. Now this is the time when you really want to apply the oils. That's right, if I'm laying out in the sun, I might as well give myself a good condition and hot oil treatment. What you do with your hair after working out or after the pool matters. So here I'm combining a mix of the It's a 10 Daily Miracle Conditioner in addition to the oil. And be very generous guys, like you can never use too much conditioner. And if you're going to be laying out in the sun anyways, might as well maximize your time and take advantage of this opportunity to get your treatment in. Now here I am covering my conditioned hair with a plastic shower cap. This will not only help to keep it out of the way, but also help to retain moisture. And also to be a little bit more discreet, I'm just covering my head with a sun cap. That way, no one needs to know my business, get my treatment in, and enjoy laying out. Now I'll allow this to sit in my hair anywhere between 30 minutes to even up to an hour and a half. Keep yourself cool and hydrated with either water or a nice refreshing smoothie. Now as soon as I get home, I immediately go and take a cool shower and wash all of the products out of my hair. And if you want a full wash day routine, don't forget to check out my part one, part two, and part three, which I'll also link below in the description box. So afterwards, I will go in with a Matrix Biolage Hydra Ultra Source Aloe Shampoo. And then my Hydra Source Aloe Mask or Conditioner. This also helps to keep the frizz away after your hair is completely dried. But first, you definitely wanna lather in some soap to get rid of the excess salt and sweat from your hair and scalp. Use your fingertips to remove all the excess dirt, sweat, and salt. And you can also try co-washing if it's not a full wash day. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.